in Humanity 6, Module 5, Lesson 19A. So we're still dealing with volume, surface area, and all that fun stuff. So today we're going to be talking about aquariums and real life uh, scenarios. It says Kelly has a rectangular fish aquarium that measures 18 inches long, 8 inches wide, and 12 inches tall. What is the maximum amount of water the aquarium can hold? So if it's holding, that means it's volume, which is equal to length, width, and height. Length times width times height. And so we just have to plug those in. 18 inches times 8 inches wide, and tall would be the height. Sometimes you see it as delt or anything. As long as you have the three numbers, though, you can multiply those together. And when you do that, you get 1,700, 28 inches cubed. Remember, cubed volume. Now, if Kelly wanted to put a protective covering on the four wall glasses, remember, we've already done a question like this where there's only four. We don't have all six sides covered. How big will the cover have to be? Well, let's just draw this. Aquarium right quick. And let me have Mr. Anderson's amazing art skills here to help you out. Okay. So this would be 12 inches tall, 18 inches long, and it would be 8 inches wide. Now, of course, this is not drawn to scale. Okay, but we're only covering the sides, the sides, and the back and front. Okay, so we're really not covering the bottom, and we're not covering the top. So we don't care about those. So what would those be? Well, this side is going to be height times length. And then this other one would be width times height. Okay, notice that you have height in both of these. Okay, because we're not, not doing the top and the bottom, so you're always going to have to be talking about your height. So we would have two times the height times the length, and then plus two times the width times the height. Okay, and that would equal what? 2 times the height is 12, times the length is 18, plus 2 times 12 times, what's the width, 8, okay? And if you plug that in, you get, this one is 432. This one is plus 192, and that would equal 624 inches squared, because we're trying to find the surface area of those two. Okay, I think that is it for today's lesson. So we'll get started on your